Hello everybody, my name is Skull Kid, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we went to, I forget the name, Kara Kara Bazaar, that's it, and we also made our way to Gerudo Town, talked to a bunch of people, uh, and, well, now we're at this shrine, so we're gonna go right into this shrine, and also after, we gotta figure out a way to enter Gerudo Town because it's only reserved to women. So anyways, let's go right in the shrine, and hopefully it's a good puzzle, but uh, it should be pretty promising. So let's hop right in. Okay, and okay, yes, it's another electric puzzle. Who sets foot in the shrine? I am Dako Chize. In the name of Goddess Helia, I offer this trial. The whole picture. Okay. So, we gotta build some circuitry, looks like. Well, that doesn't seem too hard. We already have Magnesis equipped. How nice! Yeah, we just gotta make a couple connections. Um, uh, looks like there's some more metal in there. I messed up, apparently. Yeah, so... What do we do? Any more metal objects? Uh, cause we could use them right now. I don't see any more. Okay, well I guess we're just gonna have to link this and move this somewhere here. Maybe over here. Yep, okay, that definitely opened up one door, giving us access to one more metal barrel. So now we can do a better circuit. It should be relatively easy. This is too too big. Okay, so I think we were just working on the wrong circuit. And now we gotta... Where does it go? Oh, did I mess it up? I did mess it up. Um, sort of. Nope, that one was fine. This is the one that was wrong. Okay, that's more like it. And now we have these connected, and second door opens up, and it's a metal chest. So not only do we get a goodie, um, but we also get a chest made of metal that we can use to complete the circuit. A thunder blade, that's pretty cool, I think I'm gonna take it. Um, so what do we have in here that just sucks? Well, this is made out of wood, I don't know if it's less durable, but I mean, any sort of guardian weapon's pretty common. So now we have a Thunder Blade. It does twice as much damage. I almost forgot to take the chest. I suppose you can just take weapons and be lazy and not have to deal with like any any sort of actual important work. So does this matter? I don't think so. We've done all these already. So there must be a circuit over here. Yes, there is. Ah, uh, we gotta bring everything from this place. That's sort of dull. Okay, off we go. First one goes here, I'm guessing. Uh, okay. And here's our second barrel. I don't know why you'd want to make metal barrels in real life, but... Okay, here we go. Nope, we can't do that, right? It's not a connector. Well, this is a connector. And we can get the chest. I don't know if we need the big block. We probably do for something, like, actually important. So we got that done, and here is the block, we probably need that because the little jingle didn't play yet. Oh no, don't destroy everything. <laughs> um, just put it right there, that's it, right? Oh no, it's not it. We just get another metal block? Is there anything in here? That would be sort of intriguing. Nope, nothing there. Oh, I zapped myself. How great. Okay, so this is like two connections. Am I missing something here? I am, actually. Okay, right, right, right. So this is already a straight connection. We just need the metal block. And... And yeah, then we need the second metal block. Yeah, that's all we need. Uh, so let's get this block. Bring it over here. Over to this side. That's pretty cool, that should be all there is to it. And we can go and talk to this fancy monk. Oh, I love the ones with the hats. 
Okay, what does he have to say? Well, all the regular stuff, really. Um, wow, they're, they're not really unique, are they? They're all so uncreative. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial, yada yada yada. In the name of Goddess Helia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. And we have, how many do we have? I think we have 12 now. Can we, is that possible? And... How many? Yes, we have 12, that's perfect. And there should be a goddess statue inside Gerudo Town. May the goddess smile upon you. So that's gonna be really exciting. Well, it's about time we upgrade our stamina anyways. So this guy, if you guys remember from last episode, he's saying that this traveling merchant he's seen going back and forth, and he has the secret to getting into Gerudo Town. But let's try going inside anyways, and yep, they're just gonna stop me right away. Oh, I am such a, a threat to your town, I see. Huh? Freeze! Where do you think you're going? Not into town, that's for sure. No vow allowed. Off with you. Okay. Well, we've been kicked out, folks. I guess, yeah, we'll actually have to try whatever we have to do. Uh, what do you have to say? Savak. Oh, wow! Don't tell me you crossed the Gerudo Desert on foot! Yep. I came on foot. I don't know how you'd ride here, but... Because uh, we tried. Must have been hard to walk through the desert, especially having your feet sink into the sand. It's common sense to travel desert with sand seals around here. My name is Frelly. I run a shop in Gerudo Town where I rent out sand seals. Most people can't take the time to train their own sand seals, so I rent out the ones I've trained. <laughs> if you need to know anything about sand seals, I should be your first stop. Okay, well, <clears throat> I can't get into Gerudo Town, that's sad. Oh, there's someone running over there. Could that be the merchant? I don't know. It could also just be the same guy I talked to. Oh, he has a quest. Oh, oh god damn it, I'm exhausted. I just need to talk to you, don't go in town, no! Okay. Oh, I don't know if you were going in town, but you certainly were applicable for that. Also, you can see the goddess statue right there. <laughs> but sadly, we can't get into town. Oh, it's just a guy. Saw me running around, huh? See, I heard Gerudo woman liked a guy in sand boots. So I've been jogging all over for for forever trying to show off. But none of them will talk to me. I'm starting to wonder if that rumor was just a bunch of bunk. Sand boots? <laughs> sand boots let you walk normally on sand, so if you live in the desert, believe me, you want a pair. But the only person capable of making them passed away, which means they were impossibly rare and extremely valuable. What do you think? Jealous, right? Give me those boots. Mm -hmm. Huh? You're coveting these things after you heard me sing their praise? Not cool, bruh. Look, these sand boots are super rare. Maybe I'll consider giving them to you if you were a girl, but a guy? No. I am busy here. Get lost. Okay, you can already just tell by the nature of that sentencing that... We'll just have to um, use her same costumes or whatever uh, to get in the town as to get some sand boots. Now, I don't know if there's any way. Nope. The bazaar. Oh, there it is. I wasn't looking the right way. Except there doesn't seem to be a really fast way to get to it. You know, I think uh, it might be faster if we go to the stable, but now that I think of it, he was talking about how this person's in between here and the bazaar, so we might actually have to walk um, along the path. I don't even know if there's really a path to follow. There is one on the map. Uh, oh no, hot temperatures. Am I gonna take some damage? I think I am, uh, but I'm gonna risk it. I'm just gonna go all out. Honestly, uh, for the little amount of walking we actually have to do, I'm gonna let Mifa's Grace revive me. That seems like the easiest option. What is this? 
a hydro melon. That's pretty neat. Apparently we haven't had one yet. Man, this trail is all over the place. I don't even see the trail. There is no trail. It's just drawn on the map, though. Oh, here's someone on the path. Is it even going to the bazaar? Where is the bazaar? Oh, wait, no! It could be you! Savak! Savak. You again! I'm on my personal journey to, of learning and discovery, so it would be great if you could not disrupt it. <laughs> Unless, do you think you're part of my destiny? My dream life? Uh, this time let's go with the second option. Just a guy taking a walk. Oh, is that how it's going to be? Then I can stop wasting my time with you. Savor, traveler. Well, it doesn't matter what you say, I guess. Well, you're just going back and forth from one place to another. That's that's pretty boring to me, honestly. That's not much of a discovery voyage. Man, where could he be? At least we're here now. Well, we're still affected by the heat, apparently. Uh, nope, the heat just dropped. That's nice. Uh, no, we've already talked to your boss. Yes, he isn't coming back from Gerudo Town. A man snuck in. Okay, so you gotta go back and forth telling them mm -hmm. info. What? There's a man who got into Gerudo Town? And the boss says he comes here to the Kara Kara Bazaar? I guess it must be true if the boss said so. Aww. But I've never seen anyone around here who strikes me a super sneaky guy. There was a pretty Helian gal at the general store. It's unusual to see a Helian girl dressed like a Gerudo. Her Gerudo clothes, I wonder where she bought them. Maybe if I were those clothes. Ah, nah. I'm so out of my element with all this sneaky stuff. Okay, well that's curious. A Helian, a Helian girl with some Gerudo clothes? That's interesting. Let's go talk to her. In this place, hey? In this uh, little hotel? I don't see no one. Yep, I don't see anybody here. Was there anybody? Nope, I don't I don't think anybody was here. Ooh, there's a diary. Rumor Rumor Mill Volume 7. Well, we are on a quest of finding things, so we may as well read it just in case. This is Tracy. I have a taste for the rumors of worlds long gone and worlds yet to come. Everyone's gossiping in the present world. Here's my favorite bit of the latest news. The secret of the royal family of Hyrule. I heard a rumor that there's something to be found inside Hyrule Castle. And that something is a secret room of Rome Bosphorus, Hyrule, the last king of Hyrule. There is also supposedly a laboratory that belonged to his daughter, Princess Zelda. A double discovery! I bet there are all kinds of amazing royal family secrets hidden in, in those rooms, just waiting to be revealed. Secrets of the royal family uncovered. That headline alone would keep food on the table for months. But there's no way I'm going anywhere near that place as dangerous as Hyrule Castle. No way! Don't let that scare you, though. Tracy's recommendations, five stars. Okay. Well, I still don't see this Helian girl. We'll go looking for her. I wonder if she could be on top now. Because uh, that's what I said in the previous episode. So let's go check for the Helian girl. And is she up here? Play the Zelda music. ta -da! Oh, there is someone up here now. That is... That is some fancy outfit you got there. Okay, anyways, let's just talk to her. Mm. Oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? Mm. What's that? You've heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town? Mm. Mm. I don't know anything about him. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help. Hmm, let's squint suspiciously. <laughs> oh, you're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. You're, you're very beautiful. Oh. 
Oh, such a nice thing to say. And I'm sure you'd agree that these clothes only help me look... Well, only help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, this style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course, but... I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rupees? Yeah, I have to take them, man. I desperately need to get into Gerudo Town. It's a deal, then. I'll take your rupees now. Okay. Thanks for asking. <laughs> oh, I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry. I'll look away. Oh man, and that that's Link all right, but uh, that's some Link, <laughs> and oh boy, look, you look adorable. Oh, <laughs> oh, just as I thought, you make for quite a good-looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit there. It's such a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would even suspect that you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well that it's sure to help you deal with the desert heat. At least a little. Mm. Oh man, Link's blushing. <laughs> I'm so glad I was able to help you out. <laughs> if you're free to grab something to eat sometimes, keep me in mind. <laughs> okay. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Make sure you watch out for the wind. Oh, he's still trying to hide that he's a man. If you want to get more ladies clothing, come back anytime. Okay, well, looks like we have an update on our quest. And yeah, I'll be able to pass. So now let's just go back, I guess, to Gerudo Town. Uh, we have the shrine unlocked, so we don't have to do all that traveling again. But let's just go right ahead and go into Gerudo Town. Okay, and we're back at the, what is it, Dako Chize Shrine? I don't know if I should talk to him. Uh, maybe, maybe he'll have something. That lovely young lady is just my type. Still spine? Eh? What? what? N n n n no? Uh, uh, of course not. I'm just investigating. <sighs> this is... This exchange feels incredibly familiar to me. Okay, so yeah, let's go and get the sand boots. Because that'll be just off the list. Um, oh, here he is, I think. Oh, coming right my way. Perfect. Savak. <laughs> so, yeah, hey... The name is Bonsai, I'm 35 single, and I love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm tenacious as a as a tick, and I think some of them meant it in a nice way too. So, so you out here on your own? Pretty rough and tumble place. Wanna hang out with me a while? Nice sand jogging. <laughs> ah, ah, you noticed these old things. Yeah, yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all, so jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, we could grab a quiet corner and... Give me those boots. Huh? Oh, well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare, and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, this is a golden chance to... to woo. Hmm... I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, you hungry little boot monster, but first, a favor. Ever heard of the legend of the Eighth Heroine? Eighth Heroine? Ah. Everyone's heard the legend in the Gerudo region about the seven heroines, but some tell of an Eighth Heroine. Wiped clean from history, and no one knows why or how. A phantom heroine. Known to all, but seen by none. I have been taken with the legend since I was a child. <laughs> Find her, show me the eight heroine, and I'll give you these sand boots. What do you say? Okay, 
I'll go look. Mm. Yes! Mm. <clears throat> According to those who idolize the H heroine, she is enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. Apparently, they even have a nickname for her, the Bronze Giant. Catchy beyond that. I don't really know much, though. Mm. Who knows? There might be someone in Gerudo Town who knows more about the legend of the seven heroines. Maybe that info would help. I don't know. Anyway, draw a picture or something, if you find her, and then show me. I'm pretty picky about pictures, too. If you get one, make sure at least the statue's upper half is visible, okay? Oh, and here. If you'd like, you can use these. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Besides, you seem really into boots. And, oh, okay, we're getting some snow boots. Well, that's pretty cool, too. The Gerudo Highlands are covered in deep snow, so it's hard to walk, right? Everyone knows that. But with these snow boots, you can walk through snow like it was flat ground. Uh. No, you can walk even faster than that. No one makes these anymore, so they're extremely valuable. As such, you can't keep them, okay? And there we go, the eighth heroine. Aww. So, I guess it's a trade-off for two different types of boots. Many have investigated the Eighth Heroine, but it's an inscrutable legend. An unsolved and possibly unsolvable puzzle. And as Mrs. Boots spins her wheels on it, we'll grow closer and closer and then... <laughs> okay, well he, he certainly has some ideas already. But let's go into town. Nothing, nothing weird here, right? Forbidden City complete! Uh, so I'm guessing I gotta keep these on, right? Most likely. Okay. Well, we're finally in Gerudo Town, guys. That's pretty exciting. There's lots of stuff to do here. Uh, but we should go for the main quest. So, I don't know where that would be. Let's, uh, no, sorry, I'm messing up the menus again. Um, Free the Divine Beasts. And our objective is pretty much straight ahead so well, let's go yeah it just seems like it's a the castle or something but yeah it's so cool to be here you know what let's let's um i'm changing my mind really rapidly but let's see a bit what there is here there's some cool shops i think as they said it's a a pretty merchant sort of city right and I can, uh, what is this? I can buy some more clothing. This is like the same stuff as I have though, so nothing too special here. I don't know if we can use this hammer. Nope, okay. There's some more weapons here. And inside this is just a uh, hundred free rupees, okay. Man, they shouldn't just be leaving the rupees out here. Oh right, the, the statue was over there. But yeah, this is the sand seal place, I guess. Anyways, let's go upgrade ourselves at the statue. Uh, right before we do that, this person's mysterious. Savsa. Okay, I don't know the different greetings, but... What's a Vo doing here? Seriously, the first person I talked to, and they already know who I am. Surprised? You might be able to fool all the other Vi around here, but you won't fool me so easily. Don't worry, though. It doesn't matter much to me what you do. But since you came all the way back here, maybe you'd like to stay a bit and chat. Sure, okay, tell me about the goddess statue, I guess. Oh, the goddess statue has been here since long before I was even born. No one here really believes in that stuff anymore, though, so they tend to avoid stopping here. Kind of like they avoid me. But someone has to keep the goddess statue company, so here I am. <laughs> yeah, it's such a treat to chat with a Vo again. Will you humor me a little bit longer? Okay, well, uh, did you ever leave town? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, I may not look at it now, but I was quite the traveler when I was young. Quite a beauty, too. I was a rare thing for a Vo, not to notice me come into a room. But I had a fairy tale notion in my mind. I had heard of the Lover's Pond, and I thought I'd meet my true love there. 
I traveled all across Hyrule, searching for this fabled place, but I couldn't find it. And before I knew it, I'd grown old. The vow no longer turned when I walked in. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago, and I chased my dreams. <laughs> it's such a treat to chat with you, Vogan. Will you humor me a bit longer? Nope, sorry. Just l just live your life to the fullest, little Vo. Man, okay. It's surprising that the guards aren't better trained if she figured out right away. But let's uh, get ourselves some stamina vessels. So I think what we're gonna do is get two stamina vessels and one heart container to balance it out. So let's just do that. I really do like it when it's the actual, like, big uh, goddess statues, but, you know, this is cool too. So there we go, we got one stamina vessel and we'll go for a second one. Because uh, we really could use it. We need some exploration and stuff and doing cool things and all. Okay. And last but not least, let's get a heart container. Uh, to get a bit powered up. And here we go. I shall grant you the power you seek. Always really fancy. And now, uh, I'm trying to count them. We have, I think, that makes ten hearts, correct? I'm not sure. Yep, that looks like ten hearts to me. Okay, well we now have ten hearts, so that's pretty cool. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Okay, sure will, goddess statue. So now we just have to head to the main quest objective and uh, go talk to whoever's in charge in this town. And there's some um, Gerudo, uh, not Gerudo, Goron here. Wow, I'm already familiar with the place, I guess. Well, here we are. The entrance. We can even see the, the queen, I guess, here. And this person has a quest. But that'll all be for the next episode of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> anyways, th anyways, that'll be it, as I said. So thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to Skull Kid Gaming for more on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and all things gaming right here on Skull Kid Gaming. Have a great day, everybody, and I hope to see you in the next video.